Okay, okay, okay. Let's be real. We all have these bad habits, right? Maybe it's one you've been holding on to for a while or you're waiting for the right moment to try something new. Well, let me tell you about Fume. They're leading this awesome new category called Flavored Ear, which is quickly becoming the top alternative to some of those not so great habits we all have. Y'all know the ones. Now, Fume isn't a vape. It's something completely different and better. If vaping is like a sticky soda, Fume's Flavored Ear is more like sipping on a refreshing herbal tea. No vapor, no nicotine, no electronic just delicious, non-toxic flavors like crisp mint and orange vanilla that you can enjoy anywhere, anytime, any place. I personally love how sleek and well-designed the Fume device is. It's got this satisfying weight to it and an adjustable airflow dial that makes this cool snapping sound super fun to fidget with and play around with. You know them, them fidget spinners that were popular for a while? Well, this is like that, but even better. And let's talk about the convenience. You don't need to charge it, and because there's no vapor, you can use it whenever you like without worrying about where you are. Whether you're out with friends or just kicking back at home, Fume fills a little void, giving you something to reach for without the guilt. Plus, it's backed by Dr and continuously tested for safety so you know you're in good hands. So if you're ready to try something new, Fume has served over 300,000 customers and you can be the next success story. For a limited time, use my code RIVALRY to get a free gift with your journey pack. Head over to tryfume.com, that's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com and use code RIVALRY or scan the QR code on screen to get your free gift today. y'all before we jump into the episode we need y'all to know and remind y'all that we have a very 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 popping patreon in these patreon streets yes and we have so many wonderful things first of all you will get an ad free version of the sibling rivalry podcast no ads i mean besides this one no <laughs> actually you know we'll cut this one out too the patrons don't hear this part no yeah, no, yeah they do because we, we need to y'all, y'all we need to remind y'all how good y'all got it over here you get an ad free version. You get the um. You get a private RS, RS, S, R, RS, RSS feed link. RSS feed, which is where you get to. If you would like to listen, if you're someone who listens in the car, you can get the ad free version there as well. You 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 will be subscribed to that, and also you get early releases of me and Monet's YouTube content, yes. our solo content as well. Which so that includes Monet you talks. Did. Yes. And one, one of the most important things you can do, uh, one of the funnest parts of our podcast is uh, we often release polls to settle our disputes. And they usually sway my That's way. That's not literally not true. Like, you, sway why, my way. You, why are you only here lying to these people? Anyway, so join our Patreon. Just go to siblingrivalry.com slash support and you will find our Patreon link there. Or, you just, or just Google Patreon and sibling rivalry and you'll find it. That's how I find everything. Do, do you do that? When I want to find something, like let's say I want to see... Jasmine Sullivan in Philadelphia. I just have in Jasmine Sullivan, Jasmine Sullivan, Philadelphia. Yeah, I get honestly, it irritates me when people are like, "When are you coming to so and so?" I'm like, literally, just Google my name and the town. And the town. I promise you, 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 I won't remember all the dates, but you can just go yeah. Bob the Drag Queen, Oklahoma, yeah. or you know, Cincinnati, Ohio. So going over to our yeah. Patreon for a really good time. And also, we are coming to your city. Bob and I are on the road, girl, as per usual. I am coming to Albany on October 3rd and Burlington October 4th through the 6th through some stand-up comedy. So make sure you go to my website monexchange.com to get tickets to see me live in your city. And I, I am on tour right now uh, up until November 15th um, all across the United States of America and Canada. Just to name a few spots, I will be in Philadelphia. I'm going to be in Columbus, Georgia, Columbus, Ohio, Royal Oak, Michigan, Montreal, Portland, Maine. My first time ever in Maine, by the way. I've never been to Maine in my life. I'm finally going to go to all 50 states. I'm ending my tour in Las Vegas and tons of other places. Um, so go to us, uh, uh, seethedragqueen.com to get your tickets. What? Bitch, do you miss me at all? Are you on tour? Like, do you, do you miss me even a little bit? Mm, sometimes. But most of them thinking about work and trying to do a good job in my show. You know, I was thinking about something. You and I should do a show in um, L.A. with Cracker, like an old school New York City show. But 
there weren't ever any New York City shows with. I mean, the only queen that had. Well, I mean, that's not true. But like multiple hosts were talking to Mike. Would was Look Queen, which was <laughs> your show that Crack and I were both worked at. Then I will host. No I'm kidding. Um, I mean, then you can host. I don't care. I don't, I don't need to host. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not. That wasn't. That was not to say that. It was like, how can we? Oh, that was me getting out of my work. As you, as else. you, as you be doing. And you know what? This is the one time that that you're not going to weasel your way out of more work, nigga. I'm happy to have you work. You, you can host nigga, the whole show. You can yeah. come out and do numbers. I'm sorry. You and Cracker can come out and do numbers. You and I come out and do numbers. You and Cracker can host the show. Honestly, that sounds great. Wait, okay. So many things. I would love that. Do you think Cracker would be into it? I, I feel like I'm not smoking some Cracker in eons. But I first went to Cracker. We were, we were at the Madonna show together. We hung out what that night in Seattle. Time? I spoke to Cracker. I don't even know. You know, I'm going to text her right now in this moment. Because you know what it is? I'll, I'll do this thing. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. talk to that person. And then I will for literally as, because we talk about so much shit in this podcast. Um, I'd be forgetting. Oh, you think we're talking about shit? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Why is this cracking an Android? Why is it green? Why does it matter? Because as it was all your text there? Oh yeah, oh, well, I didn't send it yet, yeah, but all of our texts are green are blue and now it's just green all of a sudden. But will, will the text go through if you send it? I just sent it. It just went through. Oh, that's crazy. Um, okay. I have a thing. Y'all, I got multiple piercings. A few oh, you probably got blocks. Maybe. Why? What did I do? Maybe you made five of her phone. No, I didn't. Anyway, um, I just literally just realized Maybe. in this moment. Um, so Bob, I got these secondary and tertiary air piercings and I feel like they're too low. I don't know what that is. Air piercings. In tertiary? Secondary and tertiary. Third. Secondary and I heard you. tertiary. Not I, and I tertiary and tertiary. Okay. I, I, I've never heard this word. It's, it's, it's what an interesting word to use. That's, 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 that's anyway. Um, and I feel like they're too low, but I went to a second place, to get a second opinion. They're like, no, they're like, follow your thing closely. Can you tell me what you think? Don't you feel like they're too low? Like this, this, this one, I feel like is too low. They're like, no, you want it to fall in line with this. I was like, no, it needs to be like up, like just a hair. Don't you think? Should, it sh- I feel like it should be like this. I mean, I'm not a piercer and you should probably listen to them. But that looks like it makes sense to me. I mean, I have three ear, three holes in my ears. Do you? But yeah, I have five all together. Oh wow, you have five holes. Uh huh. Just in, that's just the ears. Just the, on both sides or just one side? Three on one side, two on the other. Oh, so you have three and two. Mm-hmm. Do but do yeah. you? Do, are they closed? Because I've never seen you wear them. Are, are they closed? Are they open? You see me wear four rings at a time. You have certainly seen. I have. Them. I've seen you wear mm-hmm. four rings at a time. Yep. I don't remember this. I'm not saying I have, I, but I definitely don't recall. I've done it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've won four rings at a time for sure. Interesting. Yeah. So I guess they say open, but I would say fucking this one, it will not heal. I got this done in March. She is still sore and still the beat you. The further you get back from the meat, the harder it is. Like up here, these are, these are, these, these, these crusts, for, they, 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 they're up. The higher you get up, the harder they are to heal. Girl, yeah. today I was, I would had to use some, some saline solution, get some crusty dusty. I'm like, how? I mean, I got my ears pierced in middle school, high school, and I got them done at Claire's with by a teenage girl with a gun. Work. And did you choose but, your position? Because I think aesthetically, I just feel like I should just take it out and go a little higher, but that's just me. I mean, I don't really remember. When I say when I got my ears pierced 25 years ago. Uh, wait, and you're 37 to 20, 38. 38. So you got your, or when you were 23? When I was, that's not how math works. I said 25 years ago. 25 years. Oh, so you were um thir- uh, 15. So it's 13. Yeah, I mean, I was in middle school, 7th and 8th grade when I got my ears pierced. 13, we, we yeah. We got our, our ears pierced together. Work. Um, my mother was afraid to get her ears pierced. She was nervous. She your wanted, mom? She wanted, and she wanted this pierced up here. And she was nervous. She was scared to get her ears pierced. I was like, I'll do my ear with you. Oh Yeah, I, I couldn't get any piercings or anything until I was 18. They would let me get. I, wait, wait, that's not true. I think I got these. Maybe, like, they let me in, like, Sophomore year of high school, I think my first ones. I think I got one ear pierced. I really think everyone should have their ears pierced. You should you should have the option to put in to 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 put earrings in or use clip ons. And if you don't get and if they you don't wear them, no one can tell unless they're all up in your business. Yeah. Um. And I then I went back and got my ears pierced uh, to get a second round, 
in high school because tech from real world Hawaii okay. had these double he holes in his ears out there that were just so cool. He was a I hot man. I don't know why I ended up with the third one. I don't know how or why that happened. You also have a Maryland. I've never worn five rings at once. Though. How old were you when you got the Maryland? Maybe like 19, 20. Work. And Pep has um, her tongue ring. I have my tongue pierced too. You have your tongue pierced too. Yes, I did. Are you a little slut. I got this side, this side twice. My tongue, this, my nose. Oh, God. Are you with that girl? I had that too, yeah. 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 You better work. I certainly did. <laughs> you a little, you, you, you little alt girl. It wasn't really alt back then. It was kind of, it wasn't really, it wasn't like a rocker vibe, like dress in black kind of thing. It was kind of, it was very hip when I did it. Uh, I mean, I'm like, what, four years different than you? The people with like this and this and those were the, alt, for, maybe that is enough to make a difference. But for me, those were the alt girlies. Well, they, we're also from different places. In Atlanta, to have a Monroe was very like hip hop girly, like, Especially in the, in the gay scene, it was very like, like a lot of little feminine gay boys had these, had this. Um, a lot of black Southern men have that, black Southern gay men have that piercing who are my age. Interesting. Or, or older even, actually. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Um, I got into a little, it wasn't even, it was not major at all, but some a little bit of Twitter drama the past couple okay. of days. Because I, I tweeted... I want to have a kid to see if I have the the propensity to be a gentle parent. I saw that tweet. It was I, I, I thought it was weird. Why is it weird? I wouldn't. I didn't literally mean it. I was just like tweeting a thing, like and because if anyone listens to a thing or off, off well, it's not even on this podcast. In many places, I've said like I like I don't will not want to have kids because I go too much back and forth of what I, what I want, what I what I shouldn't. And as a kid who was adopted and have a parent who was not responsible, I would never bring a kid when I'm not 100 percent sure that I should have a kid. People were like, Monet, how dare you say that? Children are precious. And I was like, yeah, no one is saying that. I'm just saying, like, I wonder if I could be a, a gentle parent. Because I yeah, see I these mean, gentle no parents. No, the thing is, people, like, I didn't literally mean, like, no one knows if you mean something literally or not. Like, all we know is that you wrote it down. And 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 for that, I remember reading it being like, I remember reading it because you put it on your Instagram story. I did. Yeah, I did. And I remember thinking to myself, that's not a good reason to have a kid. And my, my first thought was, that's a, a terrible reason to have a kid. And I just kind of kept scrolling. And then what? Do you, what did you think? When and did you have a second thought? Like, oh, Monet, Monet, this this is really what, this is really what Monet wants to do to have a kid. My only thought was that is a terrible reason to have thought. a child. Why did you and think then, more? And I didn't deeper. really, um, I didn't really uh, ponder on it for too long. Deeper, um, deeper, deeper. But I kept thinking to myself, man, that's a really that's a really bad reason to have a kid. And I just kind of kept moving, kept doing my thing. Do you think you could be a gentle parent? Um, probably not. I think like I could. I, think, I wasn't. I wasn't gentle parented. And, I was not gentle parented either at all. I told y'all, bitch. I used to be in the, in the supermarket, stuck fucking put, putting shit in the car, putting shit in the car. My mom used to give me a little slap on my face of like, stop being crazy. Like, I definitely was not gentle parented. Also, I went to a school that had corporal punishment. You well, know, gentle parenting is not just when you don't hit your kids. To be, clear. I know it's gentle not that. Parents, it's it's there, it, there's a whole system. I've I've, 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 for some reason, I'm on gentle parent TikTok. I liked two videos, and I'm uh, all I see is gentle parent. That's what that's what brought the thought in. I just we were also this. tweeting about it and putting it in your Instagram story. So I think, but this was it. before that. This was before wow. all of that. I was I was on gentle parent TikTok, and I was getting. I think I saw one video of, of, of this woman. I don't know her name, whatever. And she, it was like so interesting the way that she was gentle, gently parenting her kid. And I was like, I wonder if I could be that girl if I had a kid. I wonder. In so my mind, I am, now? but I don't do think want, I am. Do you want to clarify now what you meant when you said that tweet? I was I, I I meant I meant to like as like just a just just a passing thought like sometimes when I tweet you, what you meant was I wonder if I could be a gentle parent yeah and then but Not, like I but it have wasn't a kid so I can see if I will be a gentle parent say it again because what what you what you what you meant was I wonder if I could be a gentle parent but you did but what you wrote was I would like to have a kid so I can see if I can be a gentle parent no that, that that's not what I said I said. I don't remember verbatim. Let me let me see what Twitter, I said. Or, did, or did you check it out and delete the tweet? I didn't check it. I have it left it on there. So you double. So you're doubling down. I am actually tripling down because I also put it on Instagram. So I tripled for sure. Wow, that's crazy. Actually, and, and Facebook. So I quadrupled down. You put it on Facebook. Oh, it, it goes on. It goes on my Facebook. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, I, wait, 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 wait. What? It's just us, mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to have kids to see if I have the propensity to be a gentle parent. That's what I said. That's almost verbatim what I said. I said what did I you said say? I would like. I said I would like, and you said yeah, I yeah. Wanna. I said I wanna. That's what I said. I just said I would like. 
There's a no, that, I, but um, to, to the short answer to your question is I do think that is a bad reason to have kids. And I can I can actually see why people would be like, what? You know? Well, I, I tweet other things. They don't, they don't take that shit serious. People be chirping what the fuck they want to take seriously. Like you. Yeah. And you know, that is, and that is well and within their right to do so, actually. But. I think we all choose what we take seriously, though, don't we? On Twitter? No. But how do people how are people supposed to know that what you meant? Like this, some people always say, some people always say, well, that's not what I meant. And I'm like, that's not told folks. I only know what you said. I don't know what you meant. Mm-hmm. I only know what you said. And if why would you say something if you didn't mean it? Like if you meant the other thing, just say the other thing. Do you know what I know what you said? Is that you lied? What? Talking what? about w- boiling noodles. The thing that you said that I did with boiling noodles. First of all, you only know that because someone comes exactly. Exactly. I one hundred percent. One hundred percent. The thing that you accused me of. The huge thing that you accused me of doing noodles is the shit that you do, nigga. And then you act. try to act like it was me. And you. And again, I want. I one hundred percent don't remember that that thing. Okay, you recall. Exactly. You, you say, re- say that with your whole chest. You recall the whole situation. So act like you knew without 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 a shadow of a doubt how you make noodles, and it was the thing that you. Accused me of you did, and by the way, you agree. You 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 remember it the same way I did. You weren't like ah, uh, you you remembered it the same way I did. You were like, yep. Yeah. So we both remember no. it incorrectly. I mean, yes, I, I but I, I I literally said yes. I did not remember, but I'm trying to say the thing that you try to accuse somebody else of doing is nigga the, the, the shit you be doing. Donald the mother, I, I, Donald I Donald accusing. Trump the drag I queen. I remember it incorrectly. I did not accuse you. And what what you, you cannot, did? You said when Monet cooks the noodles, this is how she do it. You accused me of cooking noodles. That's not what an accusation is. Not that's not what an accusation. You did is. accuse me. That's not an accusation. Monet. You did accuse me up, because words have meanings. Let's quickly look up the definition of the word accusation. Okay. Accusation is a charge or a claim that someone has done something illegal or wrong. This is what the motherfucker you said I did. You said that I cook noodles in cold water and I boil it. I did and that. I blah, 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 blah. But you need to remember that that's how you do it. So don't say that I did something. That's how you do it. Okay, first of all, friend. yes, I misremembered. It was it was not an accusation. I misremembered. What, you know that accusation you cannot escape? That your noodles were disgusting. That she held the bowl upside down. The noodles Was that a crime? Was there a crime committed there? Wrong. You forgot the wrong part. What? Wrong. No, that's wrong. not wrong. Just because, just because my noodles was soft and un, and undesired was a sherry vine does not mean it was wrong. That means that that's how she likes to eat her noodles. And and unedible. No, they were not you unedible because I ate them. Then, just because, because just because that's part. not. A, go ahead. Just because that's not how she wants to eat her noodles. Does that mean it was wrong, what baby? Y'all remember was after the after it was done, um, we ate our own noodles, and then I I I watched. Now this is y- y'all can and this is just now this is an accusation. Monet sat there and begrudgingly ate her cold, her mushy noodles that she didn't even want. She was sitting there like wincing. The, you are lying. I was not wincing because that's how you eat my noodles all the time. This is how, this is how Bob was full of shit. This is how I eat my noodles all the time. Was so like, that's how I was not wincing eating my noodles. Like, so like, please. So now this, is, now this is completely made up. Now we're in the land of no, make-believe. Go back, go back and watch the video because Monet's sitting there with her nasty-ass noodles. Now we're in the land of literal... Bob is literally making so, science fiction. You are no, making fiction. You are making no, up stories. Watch the video. It's still there. Is anything you can do? You are making up off. stories. <laughs> making up stories. Bowl, she knew they were nasty. Making up Everyone stories. Knew they were nasty. <laughs> making up stories. But it was like they're good. Anyway, I'm so glad for Bob the Drag Queen videos to gathering you and, and and catching Bob on his many lies on this podcast. Again, have your minion do your bidding because that's who she is. Yeah. Your minion. Yeah. And she's your gathering minion. you. She's so gathering you. Minion. So you you heard about um, Bob the Drag Queen. That's all you are to Monet now. You're just her she's minion doing gathering her you. Monet has not appreciated you until you started doing Eight her bidding. So since you're her, since Monet since her. you're Monet's minion, change your fucking name to Monet Exchange Eight Video back and watch your views go down. Her. So since you are now her minion, do Monet's bidding. Eight change back. her name to Monet Exchange Videos check. and let's see how your views do. Her fact. Miss Bob the Drag Queen. Her. Video. Checkmate. Yeah, and on that, before, before let's take a break. break. Before we go to break, did you lose the competition? I sure did. But listen, Thank you. but and listen, the, but we're, we're not going to you make it up stories, though. Break. You make it up the stories. We're taking a break. And I know it's it, it's so good, so good. Just as sweet we're as they need to break. get you checked. We're taking a break. Checked. I am back with the with the loser of the cook-off money exchange. Checked. Um Ooh, what have you so been good. up to lately? Huh? What have you been up to lately? 
Um, I where was I? Oh, I was in Minneapolis. I did some stuff with, with the Minnesota Opera um, for their glam jam this year. It was very great. Their what? Their glam jam is their um, annual fundraiser they do, they do at the beginning of the season. And um, I hosted it and sang in the sh- sang some songs in the show. And it was very what beautiful. Song huh? What songs did you sing? I sang Vira Viso, Ologi Ameni from La Sonambula. And I sang um, uh, in the group number at the end of the show from... Um, an opera so it's, it's a it's it's a more contemporary i forget the name of the opera but it was the finale of the show it was it was a really good time and i just love you know the minnesota the, the minnesota opera has such a special place in my heart because they gave me my first role in drag and since then i've done so many operatic things with different symphonies and uh, you know and because i mean i think other things would have come but i think definitely having doing this doing uh the role with minnesota opera with the duchess of krakenthorpe was a very big moment for me and it was a big moment for them that they said and it was it was so fun when they said bigger for them than it was for me yeah that's um, what i, I st- said I what have you been up to you from that opera on my fridge you what i have a picture of you in that opera on my fridge do you really have you not been to my house I don't remember. I, bitch, how often do I go to your fridge? I'm also sorry I'm not looking at everything on your fridge, but I have not noticed this picture. I, I know stuff in your house. Okay. I ask me about something in your house right now. Um, What is on this corner of my drag room? Uh, at the front side, you keep um all your dresses color coordinated. Or your outfits. No. In color coordination. No. Like that side over there is the dresses. Back that there. side over there. What's here by the door, the front door? Something very obvious. The Every wall. Time, is, what is it? The wall. <laughs> You're so full of shit. Am I correct or am I? There's not a wall by the door? The there is, but, but you know that's not what I'm talking about. Oh. Mm. Anyway. I, mean, I, was, I was right, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I also did a gig in, oh my God. So on Friday, I did a gig for the LGBTQ Alliance. Uh, real estate alliance because i realized every realtor i've had which has been three two one two in new york to get up to get apartments and one to get a home here in la um because my first apartment here in la i found it on myself which is a really great deal but kennedy is when i was trying to surprise out here and kennedy helped me like anyway um they've all been gay and so in my experience a hundred percent of the realtors i've worked with have been gay and then, so they had this LGBT real estate alliance thing with for all the gay realtors. I'm like, bitch, aren't all realtors gay? I feel like, and I, again, I think this kind of goes back to a conversation about, I just know a lot of gay people. I don't know a whole lot of straight people. So in my experience, like all realtors are gay. And it, it feels like a very gay profession. No, the realtor I've worked with has been straight. Really? Yep. Did, did you, Kennedy, how did you get your place? Did you give Kennedy a broker fee? She did not. Kennedy, Kennedy did not help me find my place. I find my, I found my place to what Kennedy. Kennedy, help you do? Ken, Kennedy went to go look uh, to get them the, the deposit and stuff for me to make sure I like got it because I wasn't here in LA and they needed like a. Did a you pay her check. money? Huh? Did you pay her money? I don't remember what I did for Kennedy, but I know I took care of her more than you do. Um, so you don't, know she, was, you don't know if it was money. Was and she was her? very grateful. This was four Wait, years you took ago. Her mail? Four years ago, she was very grateful. She seemed she was very grateful for it. Whatever is going on with her life and her finances and her work, she was very grateful for what I what I compensated her with. So but you don't remember if it was money or not? I don't remember. Have, I'm pretty sure it was give, money, but I don't remember exactly. Give her wigs. Give her. You cooked her. It mail, was it definitely you... wasn't a wig. It was probably most likely money. We can call her and find out. We can. Kennedy gave me a wig one time, actually. Me and Kennedy both made these wigs together. We can't, Kennedy's actually camping. Um, we made these wigs together um, before she worked with me, before she was working for me. And we were both, she was in the wardrobe department over at um, the Berkeley Rift Tour Theater. And I was uh, fronting a wig. And she was like, oh, I'll make a wig too. And she made this, this uh, a fully, a full human Fully hand tied Corel Deville wig. I remember this. I the remember. whole the, she she tied this entire wig in the time it took me to do the front of a wig. It was crazy. Well, didn't she go to school for that or something? Yeah, it was, yeah, that's something she learned in school. Yeah, mostly for mostly for costume design, but she did learn a little bit about hair while she was in there too. Obviously enough to make an entire fucking wig. Um. Uh. Yeah. Also, oh, I want to shout out Drag Candy. Drag Candy. I was in Houston doing my thank you. Thank you for all of you who came out to my bottle signing in Texas over like two weeks ago. And Drag Candy made me these amazing because because of my story of my holographic Charizard that I gave away. They made me yeah. these amazing coasters of the Jacob. What do you call these? The three that you start with? 
Oh, start. the starter Pokemon. Yeah, your starter Pokemon. The, the what do you call the Pokemon you start with? <laughs> I, I feel like that was like a cunt to your name. Anyway, of the three of them in these like holographic little ashtrays, then they give you a Mewtwo one as well with all the holographic cards. So it's very sweet. So thank you so much, Drag Candy. You're such a little sweetie. And I really, it was such a nice little gift to get at the at the signing. It was very, very lovely. What is Drag Candy's like main thing they do? Uh, what is it? I think they do, they do, they make things out of resin. Like jewelry, normally? I don't know if they're... That's actually candy. They do, they do uh, candy manufacturing and like sweets. No, they, Jacob, I'm not dumb enough to believe that. They don't. They do, they put things in resin with Pokemon though. But a lot of Pokemon. They make they make resin resin things. So y'all, if you want to get some cool, and they're actually really cool. And I I have smoked the joint in the Mewtwo one, and it works. So just so you guys know, they are nice to smoke in. What have you been up to? Oh, that was a coaster. No, I mean I guess this one coasters. Can, this one can be a coaster. I think it, it can be a coaster or an ashtray. Oh okay. Um, give us one ashtray is wild. Why? People people, people give me drugs. But you know, Ash is just like, it's such a bold assumption because you have famous in the podcast that goes, I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke. I don't it's say bad for I don't mom. I say I, I, I say that I don't smoke a lot. I don't say I don't smoke weed. I don't say I don't because everyone knows I smoke weed. I said I, I do not smoke often anymore. Mm, maybe Bob the Drag Queen videos. Maybe you can do a deep dive on that. Ooh, someone's if salty. Ever said she doesn't smoke. You're so salty, baby. Aw. What, what have you been up to? I have been um doing my tour. Obviously, I'm in Canada right now. Um, I do not know the name of the town I'm in. They keep saying it. I cannot remember the name of it. I'm just doing a stop. I'm there's no show here. We're just uh, stopped off for a night um, after driving all day long. Um, I and drive then, on a- then tomorrow I'm headed to Calgary. Calgary is a cowboy city. There, a lot of cowboys in Calgary. Uh, I'm headed to yeah, Calgary. I'm headed to Calgary right now. They have that big show that's called like the Stampede or something like that. And it's like a big cowboy thing. I've done the gig twice. And it's like, wow. Anytime I'm out of the state, well, the United States of America, I am always just gagged like how like pervasive cowboy culture is. Like in Australia, cowboy culture is huge in Australia. In Calgary, cowboy culture is huge in Calgary. Like one of those one of those um uh, country singers is is Australian. One of the big ones. Uh Keith Urban. Yeah, he's Australian. Yeah. Yeah, born in New Zealand. Yeah, and um, raised in Australia. Uh, Orville Peck was saying, um, "Cabo culture is huge in South Africa." I was like, "Really? That's so interesting." Um, but yeah, you know. So, oh, this is a fun fact for Dragons All Star Seven for my light up runway. I almost did Marco Marco instead of making me the galaxy gown. We were almost went. You know that famous? Um, if you watch the opening scene of Sister Act Two, that neon cow lady. Yeah. We were, oh, we were going to do that instead of the galaxy thing. But I forgot why it ended up working out. But that was the direction we were going to go. I was going to be like a neon cow, cowgirl. Someone reposted. I just randomly saw Jinx's uh, light up outfit. Diego. That was so fucking good. That was an insane Burn piece. The, burn at the stake. That was an insane piece. I wonder what, which, where that dress is. Girl, you know, where, where, where's she going to wear that, that again, girl? That's so much drag. So much drag. is like you wear, even yourself on wear here. Without, with the exception of like maybe like two of your outfits, I don't, I don't feel like I've ever seen you wear a lot of them since the show. Like I've seen you wear the rocker, the one that the one the biker one. I've seen you wear. I've seen you wear the the black dress with the mirrored thing. But like that gold one that you were in Colorado, when are you when are you when are you wearing that again? Well, I said the I said the rock on Hall of Fame, so I'm not wearing it anytime soon. I'm saying, but where would you wear that again to? Uh, maybe somewhere. I, I could maybe think of something. Maybe if I did, I don't know. I, I, I'm sure I could think of something to do. But I also was thinking the other day, like, I don't think I really, I don't think I really have an interest in doing drag shows like that anymore. Not TV shows, like live drag shows where I'm like, look at this crazy costume I'm wearing. And I see a lot of drag shows like that. And they're honestly really cool drag shows. What do you but, mean? I, I, I explain. I don't, know, I don't know what you mean. Like what? Like something like where, um, like Plastic Tiara comes out with these gigantic wings on Work the World. Uh-huh. Or when I did those huge wings on Work the World, or if you've ever seen Jimbo's, I just met Jimbo recently. That was actually really cool. Um, Jimbo's uh, uh, circus show, like these, some of these outfits are so. And I still, I'm like, I don't think that for me specifically, I love seeing that kind of drag. But I don't think I'm interested in doing any more shows where I'm like, look at this, look at this costume, look how crazy this costume is. 
I just say an opera. Opera calls a lot of moments of that. Like to just like that's what a lot of like especially like uh concerts and like oratorial work like so, like you're the the two things people come to see is what fabulous dress the women are gonna wear and mm-hmm. the hair the beautiful voices. So opera does lend itself to that, to like having a very ornate, like over the top look and sounding really good. Maybe if I did a play, if I was in a play and the costume was part of the play. But I don't think I'm interested in. I, I don't. I don't think that I have another like work the world uh, kind of vibe in me anymore. To be honest, like a Vegas, like the Vegas, kind of, like one of those like look at you know you know what I mean. Look at this crazy costume. Well, you literally say you want to do a show with me, you and Cracker. So what, what, I wonder where that big Rita, that big Rita costume at Sibling Rivalry. Oh yeah. With the also, did you say you wanted to do a show you and I? It was like, what is it called? Doing the most? You're like, you want to, you and I should do a show where we do the most or something like that. Yeah, I think you poo pooed it. I did not. You were on tour for like a year. I think when I pitched it, you were like, yeah, let's do it. Probably not. Um, I mean, that's kind of like, are you, so I mean, here, here's a question for you for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Aren't you like going over? Halloween is a time to really go above and beyond and do like a crazy, I mean, not necessarily crazy, but you can do like a, that's a time to, oh, except for drag queens, I feel like Halloween does have a different thing. Like, I'm not trying to do glam on Halloween. I, I, I do lean more into the horror and like the more like artsy fartsy stuff. What do you mean like artsy fartsy? Like, like two years ago, I went as like an alien thing. So like, or when I did, what's a bloodbath? Instead of doing like something super glam, I did like a unicorn and I like painted my face a thing. I covered my body in black sequin. Like, uh-huh. like I feel like that's more. It's, it's a little more dramatic than just like glam. Hey, here I am. I'm I'm a I'm a sexy nurse or a sexy devil. I don't really dress up for Halloween very often, to be honest. I mean, if I'm working, I will. And usually, it's an outfit that I've already had. Like I did a Freddy Krueger number. And I do not know why I have a Freddy Krueger gown, but I already have a Freddy Krueger gown. And I just had the Freddy Krueger glove and the gown and I have the hat made. I think Dallas Coulter made that for me. And I have I have a I have a Deadpool outfit. A lot of these were stuff that I did for like Look Queen or for, Bloodbath. Or or Blood Well, I didn't know those for Bloodbath. Although for Bloodbath, I one year I did uh I was Big Red and Jacob was a little bad wolf. And then the other year, I was just like I was. I was just blood covered in blood, and uh, 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 Lashawn Beyond maybe this like blood gown. Um, and I only done bloodbath twice, so I've been telling Bob um, he needs to bring bloodbath back. I said bloodbath needs to come back, and at the at three a.m. whatever time we decide, he needs to have like fucking pipes and the thing. It needs to rain blood at that time. That would be such an iconic party and you could do it at some like warehouse where did you do fucking poor detroit downtown in la those warehouses where i've never been there oh you never been oh, yeah, you know, would you would you ever go would you would you go to a circuit party with me i don't, I don't, know, I don't even know what that i don't even know what that is it's a circuit party it's a circuit party with like with like I probably would some music and dancing and there's a dark room obviously um it doesn't sound very fun. I probably wouldn't go. To it's be good honest. music, though. You, I think you would like. Um, what's the one? I think you like Pegasus. Pegasus is like disco and stuff like that. And you like to dance. Y'all, Bobby dancing. I, his head be sweating. His clothes be wet. He be taking off his clothes because he's sweating, wet from sweat. That's that's a fun one. I went and joined Got Make and Violet. I had like a week where I was like kept hanging out with Got Make and Violet, and um, and we went to some party that was like downtown, outside in like an alley and like a stage. I don't think it would be called it. So it was like you went to Hot Dog. No, before Hot Dog, it was like summer. Oh, uh, summer Tramp. Summer Tramp. Oh, uh, with um, with uh, Andres. Andres. I guess I was just there with Violet and got Mick, and it it wasn't really a. I wouldn't call that a circuit party. Got it. Maybe it was though. I don't really know what constitutes. This. I I I don't. Some, when it, when it's on the border of maybe a circuit party, maybe a regular party, but then. When it is a circuit party, I know I'm at a circuit party when I'm like, this is a circuit party. You know? Yeah, let's take a break. I'll tell you about my circuit party experience. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be real. 
We all have these bad habits, right? Maybe it's one you've been holding on to for a while or you're waiting for the right moment to try something new. Well, let me tell you about Fume. They're leading this awesome new category called Flavored Air, which is quickly becoming the top alternative to some of those not so great habits we all have. Y'all know the ones. Now, Fume isn't a vape. It's something completely different and better. If vaping is like a sticky soda, Fume's Flavored Air is more like sipping on a refreshing herbal tea. No vapor, no nicotine, no electronics, just delicious, non-toxic flavors like crisp mint and orange vanilla that you can enjoy anywhere, anytime, any place. I personally love how sleek and well-designed the Fume device is. It's got this satisfying weight to it and an adjustable airflow dial that makes this cool snapping sound super fun to fidget with and play around with. You know them, them fidget spinners that were popular for a while? Well, this is like that, but even better. And let's talk about the convenience. You don't need to charge it, and because there's no vapor, you can use it whenever you like without worrying about where you are. Whether you're out with friends or just kicking back at home, Fume fills that little void, giving you something to reach for without the guilt. Plus, it's backed by Dr and continuously tested for safety so you know you're in good hands. So if you're ready to try something new, Fume has served over 300,000 customers and you can be the next success story. For a limited time, use my code RIVALRY to get a free gift with your journey pack. Head over to tryfume.com, that's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com and use code RIVALRY or scan the QR code on screen to get your free gift today. So I've been to a handful of circle parties. I went to, at the top of this year, 2024, Andy, Naomi, um, Michael, and I, we went to a, a circuit party. It was a Wizard of Oz theme. We did that. And before that, in, Sept- in like, there was, in Palm Springs, Palm Springs, Palm Springs Pride 2023, we, uh, Mick, Violet, Disco Daddy, Naomi and I, like, we all went to Andy and I. We went to, like, a circuit party around there, too. I think I've been to one before. I don't love... I just don't like the pots and pans music. You know what I mean? Like, I don't love... So if there's, like, a... And at, that's, at Palm Springs Pride, there was another bar that I went to with Violet and them. And they were... This, play, this bitch was playing, like, 70s, 80s house disco music. That shit was, like, fucking adrenaline in my veins. That was a good party. I think it was a circuit party that's all that kind of music. I will live, live my best life. But regular circuit parties just have that fucking pots and pans. And I went to, oh, I went to, um, what is Mitch DJ in New York? The Eagle? Yeah, The Eagle. I went to Mitch's night at The Eagle, me and Rob Anderson, and that was so fucking good. Mitch was turning it Mitch out. is a great DJ. Mitch is a fantastic DJ. I used to go to see Mitch at uh, that that tall, oh, oh. It's not there anymore. It was on, um like, seventh or something um anyway i would always go see mitch there when i came to new york city and it was just so much fun i love dancing with mitch djs and, and sometimes he lets me dj with him which is really fun yeah it was cute um what do you think the big halloween costumes are, are going to be this year beetlejuice oh yeah beetlejuice oh fucking the bitch from dance with the stars who's who got el- eliminated she was like what'd you learn nothing on a delby probably again Maybe. I mean, well, why do you dress like on Delby, like in a flat wig and an and ankle bracelet? Yeah, I think that's what we're, they're going to wear a dancing costume and have a, have the flat wig and have an ankle bracelet on. Ankle monitor or ankle whatever, whatever it's called. An- ankle house arrest, bibbidi bop. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good one. I think I think Kamala's going to be one. No? Kamala's going to be one. Uh, I mean, I just can't imagine because she, her look isn't like super specific. I mean, it's where there's a suit of, and a bob wig. Does she have a bob? It's short. It's like shoulder length hair. It's not a bob. She doesn't have a bob, though. It's not a bob. What, what, what do you call that? Just shoulder length? It's just, I guess just shoulder length? Hair? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> blow, she has a blowout. Her little, her, her, you know. Her I think Kamala's going to be one. I think Donald Trump is one every year because he's so fucking infamous. He also has a very... The thing about Donald Trump is a very specific look. Like... Even people who are just wearing his suits are always always oversized. Massive. His, his suits are too big for him. They fit him funny. He's orange. His hair is so unique. They do. They did. They, they put the white around the eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you see what they did of him in Palm Springs? No. What they do, bitch? Somebody in Palm Springs made this. I don't know how tall. Like, I don't know what's is a story a floor. I think the story is roughly eight, yeah, eight feet tall. Got it. Eight to ten feet tall, I imagine. I'm, I just sent this to your Instagram. 
It's so there's one to like a. You should send it to Jacob. To send it to the group to that media chat we have. Oh yeah. Oh God. Um, this y'all, it's on the screen right now because I'm sending it to our media thing. Um, of this fucking statue that someone did of Donald Trump in Palm, uh, somewhere in the desert, going to going to in Vegas. And it's just like like fucking huge, like eight story, maybe not eight stories, five stories. I don't know how tall it is. And it's like of his naked Donald Trump and like a really, 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 really tiny penis and like his fat and stuff like that. It's insane. Yeah, there have been a couple of statues of Donald Trump naked put up around places. I saw there's one a couple of years. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. This one, someone made a a naked statue of Donald Trump, and it was it was a huge. That was it was just like a pretty average size statue. Maybe maybe made to scale. Oh, got it. Okay. You know how tall Donald Trump is? He's like six feet, right? Six four. Is he really? You know how tall Baron Trump is? He's tall. He's like six five. Six nine. Baron Trump is not six nine. Google it. That's wild. Really. Baron Trump is a 6'9", 18-year-old, gangly person. That's why I have a theory that's why Donald Trump doesn't want to stand near Baron Trump because he doesn't like to look short. That's I just mean, but look at this picture of all up. of them two days ago. And he's, oh yeah, he's 6'9". That's wild. That's eugenics. I don't care what you say. That's eugenics. Wow, he is 6'9". Whoa. Melania's tall too then. Yeah, Melania's probably 5'10, 5'11. Yeah, she's tall. Huh. Um, she's always in a pump. She what? Always in a pump. Always in a pump. Um, have you been watching Agatha all along with the fabulous this year? I've not, start, I've not started yet. No, I don't, I don't have Disney Plus on my um, computer. Oh, I can give you our login. I was going to say, you just, okay. just log into it. I mean, do I have a. You also got to finish X Men 97. I don't, re- I don't remember my login. So, I mean, Jacob sets them up and then. Then I just like end up like I actually I think we're are we still on Canada's Disney Plus? No, we're I, I mean I have my own. You maybe are one of our TVs is. Yeah, because Canada's like you need to watch this, and I was like I don't really watch anything on Disney Plus. She was like I'll just log you in. So we were we were just using Canada's Disney Plus for like years. Wow, that's still from Canada. To be fair, Kennedy's on my uh, Max account, so it yeah. evens out. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, it's very good. I will say. I mean, we kind of talked about the MCU a few episodes ago, but in my opinion, WandaVision... Watch what you say. I know. WandaVision is the best series that they've done. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I just feel like no series has come close to WandaVision. Did you watch Loki? I I watched the first season of it, and I thought it was fine. I just did not think it was as good as WandaVision. I didn't watch the second season, so I don't know what the second season was giving. But WandaVision was just so good. It was so good. And I'm like, maybe just because it was the first one and we were in the pandemic and it came out, everyone was so excited. Maybe that's why. But I just have, it just, it was just such a good show. Every episode, I was just, it was just so good. I mean, I only watched season, I only watched one of it. I didn't watch the other show, but WandaVision was great. Uh, Candy, uh, not Candy, Camera Time has this great lyric where she goes, um, it be them niggas that are fond of you, hit you with the rendezvous, said he had a vision of my twins like Wanda do. I love that line. <laughs> That's such a great line. Do, do you know what I wish for us? Well, there's something for us, for me. I want to be invited to um, Heidi Klum's fierce Halloween party. I always hear, like, everyone talk about, like, a Heidi Klum's, inc- inc- the one that the, every, everyone, like, if you, guys, if you're listening to this, you've probably seen it. Like, one year she dressed up as, like, a worm. Like, she does these really intense, elaborate, really dope costumes. Like, all these celebrities go, like, Bette Midler's there. Sometimes Bette Midler performs. Like, it seems like such a cool event to go to. And, like, I would just, because Bette Midler doesn't do dates anymore, right? She doesn't tour or anything anymore. But she still uh, sometimes, she still sometimes performs she? at, no, no, she doesn't. But she still sometimes will perform at um, Heidi Klum's party. Is that like a fact that Bette Miller doesn't perform anymore? I, I don't think Bette Miller has been on tour in years. Well, but she, but she still performed. I mean, she was on Broadway a couple years ago. You don't remember that? No. We were supposed to go. I bought the wrong tickets. Oh, uh, right. What, what was it for? Hello, Dolly? Hello, Dolly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I imagine at her age, she's probably not trying to be in these streets performing all the time. Yeah. Um, but she, I, mean, maybe, I don't know. Maybe she does things here and there. A, a lot of women her age are still out here doing shows well barbara streisand i don't think she does anything i was i've been i i'm very upset that i i'm in a world i've never seen barbara streisand perform live because it truly is one of the greatest voices still alive today and i'm just it really pains me that i may never get the chance to see her perform live 
has she announced that she doesn't perform anymore? No, but she hasn't been on tour in years. Maybe oh. shop a one off somewhere, you know? Maybe. Well, you know what? We, we live in LA and I feel like, I think I said this before, like shows go up at the Hollywood Bowl and I literally, I'm on their mailing list and I watch, follow them on fucking Instagram and I still be finding out after the fact. I'm like, how am I still missing what's going, what's going on at the fucking Hollywood Bowl? Maybe once a month at the first of the month, you just check to see who's at the ball. Yeah, that's what I should do, to be honest. But I don't remember until I see someone. Oh, I don't remember until I see someone I want to see. I'm like, oh, yeah, the Hollywood Bowl. Paul Abdul was just there with Boys to Men and some and someone else. Yeah. New edition? No. What do you think is the most memorable Halloween look you've ever seen? Like seen? Yeah, like in your life. Like, what is the, what is the fiercest fucking Halloween look? Like with my own eyes. With your own um, eyes. At at the bloodbath, uh this uh I can't remember her name. This this one lady came in dressed like uh Blair, not Blair. Blair, not Blair. Blair? <laughs> Say Blair, not Blair one more time. Blair. Blair? Uh hold on. Uh, her her name is uh her name is Linda Blair. There we go. Linda Came Blair. Like Linda Blair from The Exorcist. Oh, uh, I think I remember she that. Had, and she had the bed like attached. Like so it looked like she was it looked like she was sitting in the bed. I remember this. And then the whole thing is rolling. And then because her legs were actually walking under it, she could spin in circles, flail back and forth. How much did you give? What 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 did what did the cost the best costume win at Blood Bath again? I think it was either a thousand or three thousand dollars. It was one of those. Three thousand dollars, really? It might have been a thousand. I can't remember. It was one of the two. It was years ago. I don't remember. It was either. There's probably a poster somewhere. I was like, yeah, I think I, I gave three million. I think. I said a thousand or three thousand. <laughs> that those are very close. I think to I gave three hundred thousand. I think that's what we gave. I think that's what we gave. Um, I, was um, think, I so they they have the parade in New York. I've never been to the parade in New York, but I would be working like just all my years of in New York. And it was one time someone dressed up as um, it was Jason or who's the one with the knife and the hockey mask. <laughs> That's that's uh Jason Voorhees. Jason. And, no, Jason, yeah, Jason Voorhees, yeah. Yeah. And but it was like uh Death Becomes Her where his entire stomach was blown out. But you could see through it. I still to this day do not understand how this costume was made, but you can like on the train, you could see through this person's midsection. Like you could do this with your hands and your hand would you see your hand, but they were walking. What? It was wild. It was three thousand dollars. Was it really? Yes. Well, and y'all, we didn't even get paid to be there. So that is an absolute lie. And I will sue you for defamation of character. I do it. I dare you. And you know what you do? You'll lose. Do because it. Because you just hold a lie. I dare you. So do it. If I'm going to lose, do it. And you, and you know, do you know that you have to pay my court case, my court fees too? Okay. Do it then. Okay. Maybe I will. Okay. If you're going to come here and lie, do it. Use the platform I gave you. Do it. Go ahead. I, platform that I, gave I you. double you dog dare you. I'll tell you tell one more lie, and I just might. Tell one more. Give, give me, I mean, give me one to tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, listen, I'll, 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 let you, I'll let you have your pick of the litter. What you, what you want me to lie about? I'll say it. You've never need inspiration to lie. You didn't need inspiration to lie. You've never need inspiration to lie. You, you, you but do I'm letting you choose. Since, you wanna, since you're going to sue, I'm letting you choose. No. I'll let you do it if you're on accord. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait for your next little lie to creep out. Okay. And then I'll have Bianca crush you. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give, give my number two. Make sure you get I have it. gang tire crush you. Yeah, I, I would love it. Please, you want to be sued? I welcome it. I welcome it. I, no, I want to be wanna... sued by you. I, I welcome it by you. That's, that's that's what I want. You don't have a case though. You lied. Okay, I know. So you, do it. And then you admitted that you lied on the podcast. Yeah. So do it. Sue me. I, I'm, again, I'm just gonna wait for your next lie. Okay. okay. And by the way, you, you'll do it soon. Oh yeah, it's, it's, a... it's coming expeditiously. Don't worry about it, baby. Before this podcast is done, you'll get another one. Well, and I'm another sweating. one. Thank you. I've already I've got my case here. You're admitting you're admitting you're lying. Yeah. I've got my case. Yeah. So I'm just gonna wait for you to do your thing and then I'll just uh slap you with a sub, with a subpoena. Watch me work. Watch you'll me be work. subpoena you'll be subpoena to court. Watch me work. You ever, you ever been sued before? No, I have not. That's well, why I'm so excited about your lawsuit. It should be fun. You should ask um uh, Detox the sister. Don't you be suing people all the time? Gigi's Oxford sister does uh, sue. Girl, there's a, a couple of draggers girls that are literally in a I'm not going to talk about it right now. It's in my business, but in, they're in like a lawsuit right now. Oh, that one about the girls? Well, about uh, Land Bleep this. 
Oh, no, I'm talking about the, the girls being oh, mean to you. Oh, do you? We shouldn't. We shouldn't talk about that. Though, I mean, I don't. I, I I also don't know literally any more about I it. I don't know so. either. I, I probably know as much as you do. But I mean, I know the general things about like people were being like mean and nasty behind on, on set. And uh, they're suing some girls, apparently. I've never been sued before. I've never been sued before either. It doesn't sound fun. Getting Being sued does not sound fun. No, it does not. It sounds like a lot of work, actually. You know what I mean? It sounds like a lot of. Uh, it sounds like you have to do a lot of stuff to 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 either prove your innocence or, um, well, I guess that's the only thing you can be doing either prove or or justify your behavior. Yeah. Um. One thing that you and I have never done, I can't believe, and because we, we should have taken our time at Bloodbath because that was those are probably the only Halloween's we'll be together ever again because of life and work, or whatever. But we've never done a, a best friends costume. You know, that's not true. We do, we, well, we've done group costumes though. What was our, we've got? We never done one for a Halloween. I mean, for Halloween, you have tons of. I don't know, we're best talking about costume. Halloween specifically. And we did do the little girls from. Um, Little girls from The Shining. The Shining. That's for our tour. Was for Halloween. We've done Ghostbusters. Well, that was for our tour. We've been drag queens. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? And I, I feel like this will people will their minds will melt if you and I did the white chicks. If you and I like did it, white chicks. We've been talking about this for years. Bro. I know, but we're gonna do one of these. One of these years, we're gonna we gotta pop out and show niggas. If people are gonna gag. I mean, white foundation is very easy to get your hands. No, on. but we gotta do it. Like they have prosthetics. They're, those were just white. They did did they, they did not just paint their faces white. Them bitch, Marlon and um and uh Sean, Marlon and Sean, they had prosthetics. We need to go like like that yeah. in. Didn't Iggy Azalea dress like white chicks? Because everyone says she looks like the white chicks people and she did it in like a music video or something. Mm-hmm. Iggy right. Azalea did white chicks either for Halloween or for a music video or something. Because everyone everyone kept saying that she looks like Marlon and, and um <laughs> Oh my god, I can see that it. She, that she looks like the white chicks character. <laughs> I could see it. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, she yeah, she did. Yeah, she actually did. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Wait, that into the group. Show it to me. Wait, <laughs> wait, which one is her? Is she the one in the jean jacket? <laughs> wait, why does it look so crazy? She looks like a fucking sex doll. Wait, why does it look like that? I think she has a, she has on prosthetics. Yeah, but we gotta do we gotta do the process. When we do it, we can't just paint our faces white. We need to do it like we're gonna hire my my friend Faina, who is an amazing SFX um artist. She's incredible. Oh so many ideas. With oh, because y'all, they finally announced Dungeons and Dragons season two. It's coming out, which is very, very, very what did I say? Dragons. Dungeons and Drag Queen season two with myself, Bob, Jujubi, and Alaska again. Bob, would you, when you come back from tour, do you want you and I, I Faina, can hire Faina to put us both in full Gertrude and um, what's my character's name? Oh my God, I don't remember your character's name. That's crazy, Troy Ann. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. In full prosthetic Troy Ann and Gertrude Dragon. You and I do a shoot, do a shoot together. Maybe. I mean, let me see your. I mean, I, I would like to see your friends work for our hire. Oh, her side she's unseen. incredible. I'll send it to you. She Faina I'm sure she's is amazing fucking brilliant she's amazing um and i think i mean we can I, we can get alaska and juju you know i'll, I'll ask I'll, I'll send a group text to the three of us i think that if we all did a uh, four well, of us. does not live in la so it'll be, it'll be quite a journey for her i know but she comes to la pretty often juju i feel like every other month juju be like hey because juju be the kind of girl juju will come to la she be like hey sis do you have a dress for this this, this? i'm like juju you cannot fit my clothes but actually we can now um but yeah juju be juju comes to la often so i feel like if we all did it could be really cool like a fierce photo shoot that could be. That'd be really fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, th- keep us honest about that, y'all. Keep on saying, when are y'all doing a photo shoot to, to make us probably do it? I mean, I, I don't, I, if I'm being fully honest, I don't think it's going to happen just because there are so many um, people involved and no. it's four very busy drag queens. And it'd be easier for us to just do our own shoots and then superimpose them together if I'm being. Well, you and I, okay, you and I have literally mandatory time that we meet twice a week. We can make it happen, but at least the two of us. Yeah, we're usually doing stuff during that time. <laughs> we, 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 I mean, we have time that we hang out, 
But when usually in our mandatory time, we're we're, we're low key busy during that time. Well, I have when a lot of ready? downtime in February. I'm, I'm taking the whole month of February off. I mean, of December off. Yeah, you gonna do anything at all? No, because bitch, I'm getting my surgery. Well, your your feet? Mm-hmm. Probably, your plantar fasciitis? I'm probably gonna have beautiful feet. You don't think your feet are beautiful? No. I have drag feet, girl. I have drag I feet. Plantar fasciitis was to make your... It's not I don't, It's not for plantar fasciitis. Oh, you're not taking care of that? But I mean, there's nothing... Plantar fasciitis is not a surge you can do to fix it. Like, it's a, de- oh. it's a degenerative thing. So what are you doing to your feet? What are you doing? I am I have a small little bunion that they're going to fix that because bunions grow over time because your bones grow. So you need to correct it now. So I'm getting my bunions corrected on both feet and I'm getting some of my corns removed. Have you thought about just having a month off where you're not recovering from surgery or or or, or doing something just like just just time off? That's what that is. Is literally going to be time off. I'll be recovering. No, but time off to like not not time off to recover. Just like time off. Maybe that would be something I should should do for yourself. But why waste? Well, why why I'm going to get the this going to be mandatory time off. So like I'm just going to take that. Well, just suggesting you don't have to take it. Thank you. Thank you for thinking about me and being so sweet. I love you so much. I've taken a month off and it feels really nice. And I didn't, it wasn't trying to do a thing. I, mean, I, I have recovered from surgery during off time. And it, 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 I want to tell you, it is, it is not off time. I, it doesn't I, feel I, like. I recovered from surgery. And I, it doesn't feel like, it does not feel like a vacation. I feel like it does. For me, when I recovered from surgery before, I remember being like, okay, I didn't work for a while. I was a recover. I didn't go to the gym or anything. I, th- I felt actually pretty good about it. I was with you when you recovered from surgery, and you didn't look like you were having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, didn't like you were having a good time. Okay, like also gonna... the first two weeks, I had to take off six weeks. So you only with the you first like two weeks. You looked like you were kind of roughing it. You, you, it didn't look that fun. You only with the first I'm two weeks, with you. and then you left me to my to take care of myself. Yeah, I, work. I took two weeks off of my life, my very busy life. And you know, Bob, I take time off to help you with two things. I love you so much, and I would do anything you for you. You've taken two weeks off to take care of me? Not, not, I did not say to, I, that's not what I said. Listen, open your ears what and listen. I said, I've taken time off to help you too and be there so, for you. So you're, you're, so you're agreeing that we, we did not take off the same amount of time for the same thing. You're agreeing. And yeah, I, yes. I never said I took two weeks off. You're right. Most people would say, wow, you took two weeks off when, when in your very busy life. Thank very you so busy. Instead of, like only, instead of like only two weeks. It was only two that's weeks. That's crazy. You could have taken a month off. Well, well, I would do it know, for you. Some of us have to practice gratitude a little harder than others. Too. Some, <laughs> of us, it comes, for some of us, it comes quite natural to be to be uh, gracious ooh, ooh, ooh. and have Jacob. It must be Jacob. I don't know who the fuck you talking about. It must be Jacob you're referring to. I gratitude comes very very easily to me. Right now, um, Rob is on a little bit of a break, and uh, Layla McQueen is assisting me on the tour. Layla, it's so McQueen. lovely to have her there with me. She I need um, to text Layla. Thank you for reminding me. She. Uh, has this new game it's not a new game and it's new to me monopoly deal it is a card game i play monopoly deal and then i play with jenny and dan all the time i don't like it i thought it was fun Girl. layla's very quick at it and in true me fashion we played and then as soon as i won i was like we're done playing I'm never play this again i'm gonna go home and practice on my own and then come back and annihilate what do you think that what do, what do you think that comes from what this well it's, not, it's actually not something i've done like twice and, and i don't actually take time off i mean i and also you know if, if i lose a game I will, I will keep playing like I, losing a game was actually we were the bus was actually stopped Domino's like, was the last one we played one round of Domino's, and i you didn't play it in a man game since so explain that we we played uh you mean yo we were done playing dominoes then we went and played other games like it wasn't like let's it wasn't like let's all stop playing dominoes then we moved over and started playing i think boomerang foo or maybe smash brothers no we only played so dominoes on to play. a new game yeah Do what? We, we only played dominoes and you then you guys left i don't know is that true jacob we didn't play any video games all that night you came over he, uh, oh, we're combining two nights the, the night we played dominoes that is what happened and then we came back for a second night and that's the night we played video games another night yeah, so that, that was the night if you want to play yeah. dominoes, we could play dominoes i think then i think the night was just done i think i might i oh, might I'll play for round two reason. we can play dominoes again i mean i, I that's I, not what you said in the car on the car on the ride home you were super upset that you lost Jacob, shut the fuck thank up. you jacob see you see all jacob be here spilling the real tea bobby trying to act all mm. Jacob is lying. Anyone who knows me knows I really haven't. I I am I again. I is, I am not a sore loser. I have no qualms with losing. I I play games. I even, I mean I feel like for some reason when we get together, people don't play Mario Kart very often, and, and I'm always and someone's always like, 
Bob doesn't like saying, I didn't say I don't like it. I'm just not good at it. And I will play Mario Kart. I will never win. I'm so bad at Mario Kart, but I'll I'll play. But I think that for some reason, Mario Kart just never comes up as a game to play. I mean, it, it's always mentioned. And then somehow it just ends up not being played. Ever, I, I, I'm just not a big Mario Kart head. Like, I played Mario Kart a lot. Me, me, Sean, and my cousins Kareem and Khalil, we played Mario Kart, I mean, hundreds of hours when we were kids. So, like, as an adult, I still like Mario Kart, but it's just not in, like, my thing. Like, I want to play Mario Kart. You know what I mean? I don't mind it. I'm just not great at it. But I do like playing the game, though. It is fun. And, yeah, I don't I don't mind losing a game. I think that one of my... um. I think two of my greatest gifts in life is that one, I'm very patient and two, I'm not a sore loser, but I do like to win. So I will, I will keep playing. In fact, sometimes losing will make me keep playing even more and more until I can get a win. Yeah. You do lose a lot. Um, I think that's funny coming from you. Go ahead. I think I'm going to go down a record of saying that, and I don't, I've, I've never, I've never trick or treated before. Like literally not even once. I'm, I've never went to a neighbor's house and rang a bell and got a treat or a trick. But I have eaten a lot of candy in my life. I'm a big. Do you know where trick or treat comes from? I, I don't know. When Halloween is Halloween like an Irish thing? Like, like do you know what like trick or treat means? Trick or treat is like if you don't give me a treat, I'm gonna do something to you. No, oh. like I'm gonna trick you. I'm gonna scare you. I'm gonna throw an egg at your house. So give me a treat, or you're gonna you're gonna get a trick. Got it. Yeah. Um. But one thing that I I think I have eaten a lot of candy, and I think that um, candy corn is probably just on record as one of the most disgusting, nastiest types of candy I've ever put in my mouth. And I don't understand how people are obsessed and love the taste of candy corn. It's it's such a strange, nasty flavor to me. Candy corn sponsors this podcast. <laughs> like to other people, but for me personally, I think it's fucking delicious. Candy corn sp- <laughs> Candy corn. By the way, you haven't Alexa, been- stop. I mean... I like candy corn. Candy corn's fine. I mean, I'm not like crazy about it, but I, I will eat candy corn. It's, I think it's a perfectly taste. It's kind of like um, vanilla, caramelly. Um, it doesn't taste anything like corn. It just looks like corn. It doesn't even look it's like corn. corn it flavor. looks like a tooth. Yeah, but it, but but it's like a, it's like a kernel of corn because you know if you stack the do you know if you stack the candy corn up in a circle it will look like it will look like a corn on the cob. If you stack it in a what? If you stack if you make us if you you can stack the candy corn if you keep stacking it. In like a little circle, it would look like a corn on the cob. My brain is not PC. What you're saying? I'm gonna look at this. I, so it I, looks that, like if you were to, it looks like a piece of corn, right? I'm looking at the picture off of the cob. Oh, you, you can, oh, you gotta like you stick can, it in something. No, you can just stack them in a circle. I mean, it helps stick them in something. But you can also just stack them in a circle. Oh yeah, I'm looking. Ew, that looks so fucking gnarly. And you you can stack it up, and it looks like corn. That it looks so gnarly. I mean, it looks like it looks like candy corn. No, it does not. Uh, this is the picture I'm looking at. Bob, you think this looks good? I mean, it's not about it looking good. I mean, it looks like candy corn. I'm not like a candy corn head. I'm not like obsessed with candy corn or anything. Candy but corn like, head. I mean, which is crazy when y'all made fun of me talking about some weed head. Now you're talking about some candy corn head. Yeah, I'm not a candy corn head, <laughs> but I mean. I, I guess I don't I don't have as visceral a reaction to candy corn as you do, but candy corn is, you know, it's all right. It's it's I, I wouldn't it's not my favorite Halloween candy for sure. What's your favorite Halloween candy? I mean what say specifically I, like there's certain candies you only see at Halloween, which is like candy corn and uh those little strawberry things. They look like they the packaging looks like a strawberry. Oh yeah. And then there's the then there's those yellow and I mean those orange and black uh saltwater taffies, I think, or I'm not even sure what flavor they are. You don't like saltwater taffy? No. What? No, not saltwater taffy, girl. That's. I think that's that thing. That's a very southern candy. Southern people love saltwater taffy. Everything you don't understand isn't southern, one that. No, that's not, not how that works. I'm not saying that. I'm saying specifically anything that you don't know as something you like or grew up with. You're like that must be very. Never southern. said that. I never said that though. There are many things you I'm say it a lot about. though. Like I'll, I'll be like, oh, I used to watch. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! I didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! There must be like a Southern thing. Maybe Southern people watch Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't, but... I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, you know, sometimes when I was in college, we would listen to like ACDC. That must be like a Southern thing. Southern people listen to ACDC. That is, you do that, that is a very <laughs> common thing you do. It's not true. But I will say, saw what attack... Comment like, below. Do y'all think one is always calling anything she doesn't understand Southern? <laughs> What's this? 
is I don't now I don't know where saltwater taffy is from, but I'm just saying everything I don't I have no clue where saltwater taffy is from. But everything you don't understand is not southern. While well, saltwater taffy originated in a, oh, <laughs> in where? Please finish your statement, please. My internet, I lost internet. <laughs> please finish your statement. I, I would love you to finish your statement, please. I lost connection. Well, you know, I'll look it up. No, well, I thought what a taffy originated in Atlantic City, New Jersey. <laughs> it, must be, it must be a hold it on. must be a southern thing. It is considered a southern specialty in some areas because of its regional ingredients and cultural significance. Savannah, you're Georgia. Not like you're not like you're adding. I feel like you're changing. The I'm Wikipedia literally article. reading it. It is considered like you're adding things in. It is considered a southern speci- specialty in some areas because of its regional ingredients and, and cultural significance. So Savannah, Georgia. The salt table in Savannah makes saltwater taffy. That make describe georgia grown and made in an old-fashioned way like like that come from somewhere like i was seeing like saltwater taffy comes from new south. jersey <laughs> i clearly did but it has like a southern tradition to it now i've certainly i've certainly seen saltwater taffy in the south that's because i'm i'm from the south i was like yeah there's saltwater taffy here that's crazy um, my internet just went out like that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> second lie get rid of your lawsuit give baby um, please uh, have Monet Exchange sued expeditiously. I would like to own everything this bitch has. I want that weird little chair behind her. I want the I want that scepter from uh, All Star Seven specifically. If I don't get anything, you make sure I get that motherfucking scepter from All Star Seven. She it will be mine. What is oh. a, what is your what is your thing with this? Like what is up with you? This why? I want it. Why? I, I know, I know you want it. The question is why. I think it's pretty. I, I love that it's like a little short scepter. <laughs> it's not that I'm short. Not sh- it's shorter than the than the winning scepters. Is it? Yeah, it's way shorter than the winning scepters. Do you have your winning scepter with you? Yeah. Like, there's no way you think they're the yeah, same size. Here. They're like and yeah, they're the same length, bitch. This one is like a little, a little shorter. That's not the same length. A little girl, like. What? That's like six inches. But I want to be clear. But I want to be clear. That's not the same. Oh my god! But you fucking the same length as my fucking dick on your chin. We caught her in the third lie. We are we are really building a great case. I have a whole episode uh, recorded. So y'all, this is going to be an easy, easy (laughs) win. Period. Send. You're such a monster. Uh, You case people who talk to their texts. Girl, peppermint. Peppermint is okay. I think I'm going to tell you this. I'll ask her before we go. So when we came out to Atlanta for um, your mom's home going and stuff, um, you know, we all went out that night, the first night, and then I went back with Pep and Mitch to their hotel. We're at, we're at the same hotel, and I helped Pep from it upstairs with all her bags in her room because Mitch was parking the car or whatever. And <laughs> it was a two-day trip. <laughs> right. We get to the hotel. I went back to the yeah. We get to the hotel room. Peppermint takes out her... She takes out her own personal router because she wants to have her own personal Wi-Fi for the room. <laughs> then she takes, a, then she starts unscrewing all the bulbs in the. And I was like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "Girl, I had to put my own. I had to put my own bulbs in the room." So Pepper's putting her own bulbs to set up her own the ambiance in the room. And then Pepper made text on this other, this like this this switchboard. I was like, "Pep, this." I was sitting in the corner. Pep is a techie. A lot of people don't know this about Pep. Pep is a techie. Get She's very big techie. Yeah. I was like, Pep, a techie. router? What do you need a router for? The hotel has Wi-Fi. What do you need a router for? She's like, girl, because I have my own router on and then I don't have to change any, need any passwords. Like, but you need to put a password to get, it was, it was fucking hysterical. You know, she had a deal with Microsoft a while back, like where she, Pep, I gave, Pep gave me, a, me and Jacob an Xbox. Yeah, yeah, correct it. You almost said you. You and Jacob. Yeah, fix your motherfucking mouth. Jacob's about to go f- put that little camera on and gather that, that pussy. Wow, you, you, you're feeling so conversational That's right. Today. Well, I loved it. Jacob. Jacob. I, wonder, I, wonder what's, I wonder what's going on in your personal life that you feel the need to be so conversational today. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you, do you know what it is in your life that's going on? Did, did maybe mm-hmm. um someone give you a call or a text from from someone, like an old enemy? Jacob, how are you shook? Honey, is it, is this, it seems like it's all stemming from your uh, strong belief that children should be birthed as experiments. Oh yeah, I want I want I want to I want to I want a dark angel my kids. What is dark angel? What does that mean? <sighs> the hit television show with Jessica Alba, circa two thousands, where oh, the I never ch- watched it. Charmed. Right? No, dark angel. Oh, 
Charmed was Shannon Doherty and those other ladies. That was the witch show. Dark Angel was like, they were like test on these kids and like to like genetically modify them. And they were like these like super soldiers. It was such a good show. It only had two seasons. It's one of my favorite TV shows I've ever seen. Wasn't there a character named like Dark Angel from Charmed? I don't know. I don't watch... I don't watch Charmed like that. I saw like a few episodes, but I never really watched Charmed. Wait, so what's the what's the concept of Dark Angel? Well, we just told you. It was these children. You were kind of mumbling, though. Can you say it like <sighs> clearly? Also, I've challenged you online to see if you could do the Do Re Mi challenge better than me, and I don't think you can. Wait, what did you challenge I me? I would like to see you try. How, how do how do how do you challenge me? You should watch it right now. Go to go to my TikTok. I saw right I, I saw yours. You did you did you did you did two of them. Yeah, and then I and then in the second one I challenged you, I and I want to see if you can do it better. I'm curious. Oh, uh, do it right after I get it. Do it right after we get done. Because to be honest, I don't think you. I don't think you'll be able to beat me. Okay. I don't think you will. And what is to quote you? And what is that based off of? I based off of my knowledge of the <laughs> your world. Your knowledge of your of the world. Knowing you, <laughs> I don't think that you will be able to do this challenge as well. As, uh, Jacob, is, well, I would like you to watch it on camera, please. <laughs> oh I, want, I want to watch you gag at, at the marvel of my so, operatic, my vocal prowess. Watch it, you're please. Such a, you are watch it. It's such play. an interesting creature. I, I, it's loading. Make it give me a second. Goddamn. Pepper has that peppermint didn't tap your router yet. <laughs> I want to see if you can, if you can possibly just the oh, the first of ooh. <laughs> keep watching keep watching keep watching hmm. yeah yeah gliding through yeah gliding look at that look at that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Gliding through. I would love to see you do it as easily, as as classily as I did it. The riff Monique at the end. Never in her Monique fucking never life. in her flip flopping life. Wow. Why 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 do you have so much so much vitriol from me online? I do nothing but love and support you. You know that, right? Because I'm a better singer than you. <laughs> you probably are. We, probably. <laughs> I have an app that proves it. <laughs> I'm gonna do mine after this. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see you fail. <laughs> that's so crazy. Really I can think I can't do that's crazy. All right. Go, go, uh, I don't know. Go, go, go package up my scepter, which will be bailed to me soon once you get your litigation papers. You might want to put it in the box now. Save yourself the time. Go get the scepter, put it in the package. Otherwise, you'll end up doing it later anyway. So <laughs> are you gonna do it now? You're gonna do it later. Which one? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> you are so <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, listen, before you guys go, me and Monet are doing early releases uh a week early, uh starting next week. I don't know when this is coming out, but oh, yeah. early releases of our um uh, YouTube videos. Monet will be doing her Monet talks. I'll be doing my wig trial videos and my uh, my vlogs and my makeup videos. You can, you can get them a week early, uncensored on the Sibling Rivalry Patreon. Now, don't get mad at us. We are going to tier them. <laughs> yes. For the sibling, uh, the sibling, the sibling tier and higher, those will be getting the early release a week early. And the audio ad free version will be for cousin and higher. So if you want to just hear the audio, no ads, nothing, that will come out a week early. Um but because it means everyone, just tell us and well, anyone. You know the strangers. Well, not the not the strangers, yeah. Thank you, Bob. The strangers know it says you're getting nothing when they come in. I don't think we have that many strangers, do we? I don't know. I bet for you. Honestly, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Have a good night, y'all. Bang. Wait, Jacob, when we post our our video, they don't go to strangers, do they? No, you you when, when you yeah. you can choose what tiers. Get it, get it. But if you are if you stranger, cousins. But when you are a stranger, you can participate sometime in our polls that we do just to uh be the tiebreaker for team me and Monday's arguments. Those go out to yeah. strangers. Strangers don't get a whole lot, but also we only have forty seven people prescribe um subscribed as strangers, right? And, now, so and those awesome. those forty seven dollars are nice. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Thank you all. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right.